is going on, Brew Crew? Thad and Christian with MBR hanging out at the Evil Check brew, uh, booth. <clears throat> so we're at Evil Check, and they brought a very special beer that just mm -hmm. premiered last week, and it is their Bourbon Barrel Age Stalin. Yes. So this is one of their feature beers that they do every year, and um, they brought it, and so it's another Imperial Stout, comes in 11% ABV, and um, we did it last year for uh, Beer Week. Yeah, Beer Week. So, yep. so um, you can go back a year from April and check that out, but what I have here is super dark beer with a light tan head. Used to have a light tan head. Used to. Oh. Oh, 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 smell that whiskey. <laughs> what I like about this one is I can smell the whiskey and the malt. Yep. I agree with that 100% because I thought you were just going to say whiskey. No. I was like, no, you can smell there is some nice sweet malts in there as well. <laughs> oh. It's time I'm, to get it in the belly, yeah, man. Yeah, I'm excited. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Yep. Yep. Oh. Yep. That is easy drinking. That is so smooth. And in the aftertaste, I'm getting all chocolate. And what I like about what's up front, though, is as soon as I drink it, I actually get a little bit of the woodsy along the sides of the tongue from the barrel. Yeah. Obviously, you get the whiskey through the center of the tongue, which is, it's not overbearing. Not at all. It's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful taste. Very well balanced. This is a great balance to this. Um, yeah, because you can taste the whiskey, but it doesn't overtake. You still get the sweet malts. You get the woodsy. This well balanced, very complex. I like this one a lot, man. <laughs> I'm quite enjoying this. This may be another can that may disappear out of this tub. Right, right. I'm ready to score this, man. I am too. Go ahead. You, you get this one first. I'm gonna go with the rookie score. Uh oh. Yeah. Even number. I'm at a flat nine. Oh. I'm just a little above. Of course, I'm more of a whiskey drinker than you are. It's true. 9.3. Woo! Mm. Woo! All right. Oh, there you have it. So, Stalin from Evil Check Breweries making it again. Come try all the beers out here at the Elkhart Symphony's Brewfest 2019. All right, guys. Let's, let's go try more. Oh, we're going to go drink more beer. So, all we'll right. see you soon. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, guys. What is going on in VR? Dad and Uncle Dave hanging hey, out with two lovely crew. ladies here at the Elkhart Symphony, or County Symphony Brewfest 2019. And you guys are? Neva. Lisa. Okay, and ladies, where are we drinking the beer from? This is from South Bend Brew Works. And what are we drinking? So, uh, chocolate velvet porter. Okay, well, it comes Wait, in. Is the cocoa velvet? Cocoa velvet? Yep. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Comes at a 6.2 ABV. Yeah. It's 43 IBUs. So, well, let's take a look at the beer. Yes. What do you think? Nice and dark? That is yep. some dark stuff. Yep. That is nice. Very dark. Cannot see through it. Yep. It's got a nice head on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, just tan head. And you want to smell that? Very oh, smooth. Oh, smell that? Mm -hmm. mm. Very good. Yeah, very it's very color. rich. Very rich? It smells very rich. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. We get those chocolates, those malts. Great Absolutely. beer. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Very oh, yeah. good. Kind of I understand nice that it nice is organic. It is. Very rich. From Steve, yeah. He does yeah. a great job. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do a cheers. Oh, cheers. 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 Cheers, cheers. cheers guys. <laughs> cheers, brew crew. All right, uh, tell me what you taste. That is awesome. That is, it's not too heavy. Nope. It's not a sipping type of beer. You can drink that with a meal. I can see that with a steak. Easy. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, winter time beer, fall, winter, uh, keeps you warm. Mm -hmm. um, definitely wonderful. Wonderful. Absolutely. All right, Uncle Dave. It's got a nice, uh, you know, we got the chocolate notes. It uh, not a. I mean, it's like a medium-bodied beer. It's not overpowering. The it's well balanced. Uh, I don't. What were the AB, IBUs? It's probably kind of low for. Actually, it's forty-three. Beer. How much? Forty-three. No way. 
I know, and you don't taste the alcohol. You don't. I mean, you don't taste the alcohol in it I mean, at all. The malts are really balancing out the, mm -hmm. the hops so you don't get overpowered yes. by those. Um, I would not have guessed that. I mean, it's got a great mouthfeel to me. I would never expect it. Well, and that's what I'm thinking, too. Well, I mean, Steve does some really good balanced beers, so that's where I think it comes out. It's in the brewing, so. Well, guys, we're going to score it. Okay. You guys ready? Yep. Zero through ten. Zero through ten. I would say a solid eight. Okay. I'm going to go 8.5. 8.5. Okay, this, this, uh, this is the first time I've tried this. Uh, you know, I've been to South Bend Brew Works many times. Uh, you know, I go for, you know, like the, the wheats that he has and some of the other ones. Um, this is great. This is like an 8.8 .8 for me. And I've scored this many times and I always forget the score I give it. It's always a high 8. So that's, I'm going to go 8.9. <laughs> Sometimes it's a 9.1. Depends on how many I've had. Sure. I'm not going to lie. Sure. Sure. <laughs> so... Well, ladies, I appreciate you guys coming out and hanging out with us. Thank you. I appreciate you, too. Thank so, you so much for asking. Yes. Cheers. 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 All right. Hey, Brew Crew, Christian here, and I'm joined by Bayless and a guest. Can you uh, introduce your guest? My guest is my buddy, Mike Mason, professional beer drinker. <laughs> nice. Mike, welcome to the Michigan Beer Reviewers. Thank you. And I was handed a beer and told, I'm going to drink this. I know nothing about it. Can you guys give me... Give me something. You know, I can tell you right now, it's from South Bend Brew Works. Ooh. It's called Go For Launch. Now, okay. the percentage of it and everything else, I, you know what? I'm not sure. Thad, I know, has it in his head, so maybe he'll walk by here in a second. But this is the first beer I sampled today when I got to the uh, brew fest here. Loved it. I knew I wanted to review it, so there's a little uh, little tease. It's going to get a good score from me. I did try it earlier, but I was really excited about bringing it to Christian and Mike here. Do you remember the style? Nope. Nope. All right. IPA. Good enough. Good enough. And it's a hazy IPA. Yep. So I take think. a look at that. That is a light golden color. It's got a nice white head. And the way we like to do this, guys, is uh, now we're going to give it a little nose, a little smell. And tell me what you smell when you... Ooh. Nice. Oh, I'll tell you what I think it smells like, but... What do you think, Mace? It's hoppy. Hoppy? Yeah. Yep. I got I a little hop on it. That smell hop. Sweet. It's like... It's, I feel like it's going to be sweet. Sweet and hoppy, I'm for sure. I'm with you so far. Yeah, yeah, you guys are nailing it right There's on the head. There's a fruit yep. in there, too, I think. I get pineapple. Citrusy. You got oh, pineapple? Yeah. I think I you got a better nose than I do. Yeah, that's where the kind of, I feel like the kind of. Better to smell with. Hey, you're, yeah. you're, you're, yeah. you're a master. I know that much. <laughs> well, we'll right. see. We'll see. We'll yeah, see what we'll you think see. about we'll this. We'll see. All right. All right. All right. It's time to drink it, guys. So Cheers, we'll guys. Think. Yep. Cheers. Cheers. Brew crew. Oh, yeah. Steve Lock. at South Bend Brew Works, man. We actually went down and saw his, uh, uh, the way he brews beer down in the basement. Yeah. And he, he does such a great job putting so much time and effort into it. But brewing these beers, he's, he's gotten good. Yep. He's yep. gotten real good. He's hitting home runs. So definitely hoppy. Um, I get almost, uh, it's a, kind of a bitter citrusness. Yeah. Almost like uh, grapefruit on the back of my mouth. Yeah. Um, and it kind of hangs around for a minute, but in a pleasant way. You know what it reminds me of? What's that? A hop slam. Oh, yeah? It's just like the, the hops in it. You can Like the IPA, you can feel, I can taste the, like, I, it's not as, as hoppy as hop slam, it's, but it's got kind of, uh, that was the first thing I thought of when I, when I had a taste of it. I could see where you're going with that. Yeah. Um, I actually like it just a little bit more because I think that fruitiness comes out a little bit more. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hop slam the honey comes well, out. Yeah, so well. and the hop slam is so hoppy. I mean, there's so much hops in right in the hop slam, but yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. All right. So what we do now is we score everything from zero to ten, with zero being a drain pour. We're gonna throw this out, <laughs> pour it to the homies, if you will, <laughs> or Call that the a ten. Yeah. <laughs> it's, the, it's, the, it's the Tupac. Yeah, that's right. Uh, that's what I'm calling it from now on. And uh, 10 being the nectar of the gods. This is the last beer I need. It's the only one I'll ever have in my fridge again. You go down from there, 7 and above, I'm going to buy. Yeah. Below a 7, I'm okay. probably not going to buy, but I might drink it. 5 below, meh. If you gotcha. handed me, I'll finish it. All right, I'll tell you what, I'll go first. I was the one who brought this to the table. And the grapefruit taste is really coming out now. 
I mean, really coming out, the more you drink it, it does hang on the back of your throat. And it, it, it's, I, I, I dig it. I really like the fruit taste of this. And I'm going to give this a very strong, right under nine. I'll go 8.9. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Almost a nine. This is a beer that I would drink many, 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 many of at South Bend Brew Works, for sure. How about you, Mace? I'd do an eight. I'd sit. Yeah. I mean, this is great for sitting and drinking with your friends and... And so, uh, this is what I love about doing Michiana beer reviewers is the beer reviews being subjective. I'm a dark and malty guy. I, I, you guys are loving this, and I'm loving that you love it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm at a 7-8 seven, eight. Seven, eight. Yeah. Because, <laughs> because I'm not a hoppy guy. I, oh. I like the dark and maltese. I can't, I can't but eat dark and malty, yeah. But after mowing the grass, this is what I want. <laughs> yeah. That is a good description of this beer because I was thinking immediately – Sitting outside on the patio enjoying the sun with this beer. But yep. you're right. After mowing the lawn, this is the beer that you would want. Yep. So, I, uh, yeah, summer beer for sure. Yeah. Summer beer. Yep. But yeah. And that's why I think IPAs fall. So. They always are. Yep. They always are. The dark and malty, huh? Dark and malty. That's my thing. I like dark. And I like the thick. Uh, you like, like the Scottish ales? Lawn. Oh, yeah. Scottish ales, man. Those put me down. Yeah. Dude, a couple of, oh, yeah, they're usually them. so high alcohol content, man. I can do a couple of those, but they're they're good. Yep. So that, that's, that's a good point. You know, anytime you're drinking, drink responsibly. If you're out here at the Brew Fest 2019 uh, to benefit the Elkhart Symphony Orchestra, do it responsibly. If you're drinking, don't drive. If you are drinking and don't have a ride, call Uber. That's what it's around for. A- so. a- absolutely. And how about that symphony? I, I didn't think I would like it so much, but I love hearing the symphony music in the background of this. It's relaxing. It's, it's working. Isn't <laughs> it's, it's working great. <laughs> it's better than not being able to hear each other talk. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. I, I dig Just it. Just volume. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Well, let's dink it one more time and say cheers to the brew crew. Hey, good job, cheers, <laughs> it was pretty down. Cheers. Brew crew. Cheers. What is going on, brew crew? Thad here with MBR. Christian hanging out. And we got two lovely ladies here. We got Lindsay from Legendary Rock 97.7. Way to go. You said it right. I did. (laughs) I know. It took me a couple times last review. And Amber. Amber. I'm just here reviewing. So I'm happy. It's a lovely Amber. Thank you. I'm not going to call myself lovely. Bank with the Centier. You'll get to know her. (laughs) (laughs) Exactly. There we go. So, Christian, we're drinking. Night Goat from the Devil's Trumpet and uh, comes in at 5.5 ABV with 23 IBUs and this is a coffee stout so we're getting into my wheelhouse now. Absolutely. So I Actually love this. both ours. Absolutely. So we are at Brewfest 2019 at the uh, Indian. Northern, Northern Indiana, Indiana Convention. Center. There it is, the Northern Indiana Event Center. Old RV Hall of Fame. Yeah. Yep, the old RV Hall of Fame. And you can still join us if you would like to from my last till 8 p.m. tonight. So, all right. So, ladies, what we like to do is first take a look at it. Tell everybody what you see in that beer. You don't see any color. You don't see much. It's no. very dark. Yeah. A little caramel color. There's a nice foam at the top. It makes me excited to drink it. I know. I'm with you. Yeah. I love dark beer. So, but you can't really see through it. It's pretty dark. Nope, yep, nope. There's no light coming through that, no. is there? No. What about a nose? Give it a sniff. What do you smell? Oh, delicious coffee notes. Yeah. Oh, I Chocolate can't wait. coffee beans is what I smell. And that's Yum. exactly what I'm getting, too. That's all really? I really smell. Oh, it's almost like a coffee espresso yep. smell. Right. Yep. All right. It's time to taste it. You guys want to dig right, it? Cheers. There you go. Right, cheers. Uh-huh. Cheers. Added cheers. Oh, I like this one. Oh, it's so smooth. It it's caramely oh, coffee. Smooth. I love it. It's smooth. It doesn't have that bite that you normally get when you're drinking espresso, but it still has that yummy espresso feel to you with a caramely finish. I love it. What she said. Yes. <laughs> she did a great job of explaining this beer. So she really did. Abs- she it really did. I, I don't know if I have anything to add. Oh, yep. wow. No, very smooth, a nice, even finish. Um, I feel like in the finish, I'm tasting just a little vanilla. I don't know if that's a intentional. Bit of vanilla, yeah. Would I be judged if I had this for breakfast with my no. morning eggs and toast? This is great Instead for tailgating in the morning. Uh, <laughs> this is what I think I'm having for brunch. All right. <laughs> I said Delicious. breakfast way oh. earlier than brunch. <laughs> it's not just for dinner anymore. <laughs> so, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> so All right. good. So now we got to score it zero to ten, with ten being nectar of the gods, zero being I'm pouring this out to the homies. 
I'm giving it a nine. I love this. Uh, I'm going 9.7. Whoa! Woo! Big Woo! score alert, guys. Big Woo! score alert. 9.7. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Uh, you know, I've rated this before, and yeah. I think I was around 8.8. .8, yeah. Which I love. I mean, it's great beer. It's good beer. Yeah, I, I'm with you because I was, I, right now I'm at an 8.9. I know I've scored it before. I don't know what I scored it before. This is one of my favorite beers from the Devil's Trumpet. Absolutely. Actually, I love a lot of their beers. So Yeah. yeah. Well and done, they're getting Devil's easier Trumpet. and easier to find. You can find them at all the local liquor stores, um, and you can go visit them and try it right off the tap. Yeah, it's right out of Maryville. Yep. Maryville, yeah. yeah. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. They have hours on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. A nice tasting room, so go check them out. Well, there we go, guys. Hey, Brew Crew, Christian and Thad joined by Pan from Plymouth, and we're going to be reviewing a cream ale. We are. So this comes from the South, or, uh, well, in South Bend, the Studebaker Brewery. So it comes in at a 5.9 ABV and only nine IBUs. Wow, wow. And we're doing this one because, Pam, this has been your favorite so far at the Brewfest 2019 in Elkhart. Correct. Yes, it has. Nice, nice. So um, the way we start this off is we just take a look at the beer and tell people what we see. So can you tell us what you see in that beer? Um, is clarity one of the words I should really be yes. using? Because that's exactly what I see when I look at it. It's yep. the clarity Absolutely. of the beer, yeah. Yep. So I call it a light gold. It's got a clean, well, it used to have a clean white head on the very top of it. Okay. And you're right, clear. You can see light through that. I can almost see catfish doing the recording over there, there through you know, that. There's catfish, yeah. And now we like to give it a nose. So give it a little sniff and then tell us what is on the sniffer there. Okay, well, I'm not a huge brewer by any means. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like my brew fest. I'm going to have to say part of the corn part that's a part of this brew is what I smell. Okay. The corn, what is it? Corn flakes? Is that what they use when they do brewing, I uh, think? You know, it depends on the brewer, it depends on the brewery, yeah. but you're right, it has kind of a corn smell to it. Yeah. Yep. I would totally agree with that. Yep. I get a little bit of wheat also, yep. but just on the back end, but that's right. it. All right, and now it's time to give it a drink, which is the fun part, right? Yeah, so cheers. Cheers. <laughs> cheers, Bird Crew. Oh, yeah. Yep, that's a good one. Yeah. Again, the corn yep. comes through big time. The Pilsner part of it. Yeah, it, it's actually as we've been walking around doing all of them, it's one of those where I can keep going back to that and cleanse the palate type of thing. Yeah where it's just that smooth no you're absolutely right completely smooth it's got a nice clean finish to it which makes it like this is like to me a meal beer because i love it cleans the palate gets you ready especially if you're having something heavy chickens or sausages or whatever it might be this is going to complement those kind of meals a great deal this is enjoyable it definitely is definitely going to be my summer beer of choice Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can see you sitting next to a fire drinking this. Definitely. You know what? 5.9? Could be a session beer. Sure could. Yep. You know, hang out with friends and family and just... Definitely. Enjoy your night. And put up with family that way. <laughs> <laughs> you know my family? <laughs> <laughs> if catfish is part of the family, I do, yeah. There you go. Okay. You're right. You're right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or Uncle Dave. All right. So we score this on a... Um, a scale of zero to ten. Zero being a drain pour. This means we're gonna pour it to our homies, right? We don't want it. Ten is the nectar of the gods. Coming down from there, sevens are usually things we'll buy, but maybe not look for. And then when you get six, five, we'll drink it because somebody handed it to us, but we didn't really go looking for it. Then below that, threes, we're not gonna go looking for it, but we're not gonna dump it. So where would you put this cream ale from Studebaker? Okay, I really like this one, but there's always, in my opinion, room for improvement. So I'm going to go 8.9. Oh, that's a solid score. That's a solid yeah. score. You said you said you haven't done this before, but that that was very professional. <laughs> good, good for us. Well, right, right, yeah, for the Michiana <laughs> beer reviewers. Right. Yeah. So what do you got, Christian? So, um, cream meals. I found um, that I either love them or, or I hate them. 
this is the first one I think falls somewhere in the middle. Like, I, I'm not over the moon with it, but um, I don't hate it all. I would certainly drink the, more of this, especially if I was having a meal. And I'm at a 7.2. Oh, nice. nice. Uh, I'm actually at a 7.9. I'm the same way. Cream meals, I can give, you know, give, take, nothing. Okay, but are, yeah. are both of you, you guys went a little lower than me. Are both of you sitting by the campfire this summer? Are you having that thought? So, oh, so absolutely. Up any? If I was sitting by a campfire, it would It'd definitely be a 10. Maybe. Not a 10. Not, not a, a 10. 10. Okay, at midnight? <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> We and don't score beer at that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we don't score beer at that time. Yeah. Okay. okay. So no, but you're absolutely right. When we talk about this. That's that's the beauty of the Michigan beer reviewers is one, your taste buds are different than mine. There's people who like IPAs that I think taste like pine tar, um, and and then temperature plays into that. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. On a hot summer night, this is a far better beer. I'm going to score it probably a mid eight where today it was a low seven so but still an excellent beer and studebaker is pulling out some great beers really moving along and you should check it out it's at the mansion so yeah exactly yeah. yep never been there definitely plan on going and taking my brother-in-law with me there you go well, there we go all right well all right. thank you for joining us pam thank you Absolutely. Guys for having me great time today thank you so much thank you let's let's dink it one more time and yep. say cheers to the brew crew cheers guys <laughs>
big meal of steak, by the way, because that's not much. Okay, all right. Yeah, I love it. Yep, got a nice little, kind of like a dry finish to it. Yeah. Which would be great for a good summer drink. That's so why I can see why Bear Hands is their, one of their number one beers. Yeah. I mean, they, it's hard to keep up by hand. Like, it's a very well summer beer for them. Right, yeah, and when it's gone, it's gone for that year. Yeah. You have to have it on. So, um, so, you remember how we do it? Zero to ten, ten being nectar of God, zeros being. We're pouring this one out to the homies, so two packs in the drink, right? <laughs> all right, all right. And then in the middle, obviously, you know, we're talking about a beer that we might not buy, but we would definitely finish. And then we start going up to, I would look for it every time I go to the store. Here's the, here's the thing that is about Bear Hands is, this is their flagship beer. But they produce almost everything they produce is amazing. So it's hard to just stick with this beer. I'm going to read it in eight because they produce so many good beers. You know, IPAs are going on me. I'm just I'm at about an 8.2. Okay. So that's really good for me. I uh, definitely get this again. Um, yeah, I really love that high spice. That's, 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 that's a really unique, good, like, a unique flavor for you know, an IPA. Uh, love it. So I have to say, uh, I don't know this. I might have told you this or something, but actually dark. Okay, okay. So, and it's what I love about something like Brew Fest, and, or what I love about reviewing beer, is you get to try things that are outside my comfort zone. And this is technically outside my comfort This is one, buddy, but you've got to love it. I mean, it's delicious. It's, 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 it's a delicious beer. I know. I will say that. I'm at a 7.9. Okay. I'm still my 8. Yeah, that's all right. Like I said, Barians, they produce a lot of good beers. And it's hard to not, you can't just stick with this one. You gotta try every variant, because every variant they do, it's, it's killer. It's really good. Yeah. And they make a great other beer. They got the cow over here today that is an absolute star stout. Um, and just lots of good beer out there at that pair of beers. For me personally, they're milkshake double IPAs. Oh. For me, I'm buying one or two four packs of them. And I don't do that for a beer. Get with me and always buy at least one. Well, sir, you are good. Thank you for the hearts here. Thank you. First time I tried Type Me Egg. So yeah. That's thank you. We try, baby. That's what we do. Man. All right, Uncle Dave. So, that's good to see you. Christian here at Brewfest 2019 at in Elkhart, and we're trying another Dairy Man's beer. And would you two mind introducing yourself? Tell me who you are and why you want to review this beer. I'm uh, Dr. Toby from Did you say doctor? I did. You might be our first doctor. First doctor. And I'm Kate Lieber. I'm here as well. Alright, she's just here. <laughs> here. So, it's you and me doing this review. Oh, awesome. And you wanted me to pick something, and I didn't know, so one of the guys yelled at us, you gotta try this. From Barry Hands Brewery, it's Ready Kilowatt IPA. And he said it's a double dry hopped IPA. And it comes in at 70% ABV and a cool can. <laughs> so, the way we do this is first we give it a look and tell, tell the brewer what it looks like. It's a deep gold to almost an amber color. Do you agree with that, Doc? I agree with that. I say it looks like an IPA. It does look like an IPA. <laughs> then we like to give it a little nose. Sniff it. What's it smell like? It gives you that hoppy. Sure. Yep. It smells nice and hoppy. I'm not a huge fan of the double IPA, so no. I'm a little nervous. But what I love about reviewing beers is it's subjective. If you like IPAs, you might like this more. You know, I started with IPAs kind of hating them. Like yeah. people like, boom, hoppiness, everything. But I got into it. You know, my favorite one is, of course, a lot of people's favorite, the Hop Slam from Bell's which really got me onto it. And I must say, this is similar, but a little less hoppy than the Hop Slam. And it is very good tasting. I'm, I'm, I'm not a big IPA guy, but this is a good one. So the first time somebody brought me an IPA, they said, what's this taste to you like to you? And I said, soap. 
so, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. You don't like that? I don't think it tastes so good. No, that's good. That's good. It shouldn't. Yeah. But that's what it tastes like to me. She says the same thing with ginger when we're eating sushi. <laughs> um, I love ginger too. <laughs> alright, so it's time to taste it. So okay, give it a little bit. Sorry, man. Can it? That's alright. That's alright. Right. Cheers. What is going on, Brew Crew? MBR, Christian and Thad here hanging out at the Elkhart County Symphony Brew Fest 2019. We are here with Studebaker Brewing Company and the runner up for the brewery of the festival. So, congratulations. Uh, yeah, thank you. That's awesome. Thank Cheers you. on that. Cheers. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Christian didn't have his beer. Blooper. <laughs> oh, sorry. So, you want to tell us what we're drinking here? Uh, this is Skyhawk Juicy IPA. Um, just my take on the style. All the IBU comes from hops that are added after flame out in the Whirlpool. Uh, and then I dry hop it two days into fermentation to get the bio transformation. And then, you know, once it passes, ferments out, passes diastole rest, uh, we dry hop it again for two days and then crash it. And right. so this was your favorite beer of the festival, and you were a judge. Yeah. So what made it your favorite? It was my favorite. I like the full mouthfeel of it. I like the aromatics. It smells wonderful when you're, like, trying to get that full smell and flavor. Um, it came up second in our full total, uh, but this one was my personal favorite in the entire festival. That is awesome. Uh, what is the ABV and IBUs? Uh, six percent, and I don't remember the idea off the top of my head. Uh, actually, ish. it's like thirty. It's only like yeah, thirty, maybe. All right. So stay in that nice low range for that yeah, New England yeah, yeah. style. This is yeah, more about the the aroma and the flavor of them, not the bitterness. I don't want it to overpower it, you know. And then uh, it has a high chloride content in the water, and uh, uh, high oats, oat flakes, just for kind of a soft full mouthfeel without it being heavy, you know. Okay. So, let's look at the body of the beer. 
Man, I love that haziness of that beer. You know, just white head. All right. Cheers. 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 Yes. Pinky. All right. So, so Miss Judge. Yes. What do you get out of it? I don't like judging things on the spot. Like, no. <laughs> no, I'm not asking you to me. judge it. What do you taste? I taste a lot of the citrusness. Um, what a hops should taste like. Okay. Um, on the range of an IPA, this was the best one here that actually gave you the full IPA range of like aromatics and mouthfulness and tastefulness. And it definitely, you can taste that hops on the beginning, but it definitely stays in your mouth and it's real good. So. Love it. It's a full range, a full body IPA, and I can't complain about it. All right, Christian, what do you got? Uh, I mean, to me, it's easy drinking. I get the juiciness. I get the citrus. It just makes it, like, to me, just an easy drinking, good beer. All right. Man, I get the hops right up front. I get a little kick. I love the citrus right through the middle of the tongue. I get a little bit of a dry finish, which I like, off this IPA. And then, man... There's something that comes through the back, back through the palate that's it's got that little citrus kick. That's what I love about this beer. Thank so, okay. All right. So, as the brewer, we're not going to ask you to score it, but we do score on a scale of 0 to 10, with 0 being poured out to the homies and a 10 being the nectar of the gods. This was your favorite of the festival. Where are you at? Decimal points encouraged, not required. Oh, this is a nine for sure. This is like right up there. I love it. It is my favorite of the festival. I can't even go wrong with it. I, I'm a sour fanatic, and this beat sours. Any of the wow. sours I can hear. Yeah. Woo. I'm a sour fanatic, and this just won my full uh-huh. flavor. That needs no more scoring. Like, that says it all. Like, as the brewer, how's that make you feel, man? Here's a little red. As you should. Like, it's a really good full body beer, and there's no complaints on any end of it. Um, all around, just great. Awesome. Well, there you have it. That's going to do it for us here at the Elkhart Brewfest 2019. It's come to a close, and it's been a good Brewfest. It has. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And go check out Studebaker. So, if people want to try your beer, they got to come to the brew house, right? Uh, yep. For now, they do, yep. Maybe in the future, we might have some stuff on just right around town locally. Uh, we're adding some more tanks. Uh, gonna push out up some more production, but for now, yep, just come to the mansion. Check us out, it's a really cool place anyway. Typical new place, address. right? Uh, 620 West Washington. Yep. Just outside of downtown <laughs> South Bend. And you can see it all there. The brewery's right there, the bar's right there. Yeah. It's awesome place. We got a couple escape rooms if you're into that sort of thing. So. Oh, that's right, I forgot. Yeah, we have three place. escape rooms if you know you can come, bring some friends, have some fun, have some beers, some food afterwards. So. An amazing food. Yep. Well, there right. we go, guys. Well, yeah, we're coming to a close. So thanks for joining us on MBR. We got, you know, we'll see you soon. Thank you for watching MBR Beer Tube. Smash that like button, hit subscribe, and ring the notification bell. Don't miss the latest MBR Beer Tube. Remember, at Michiana Beer Reviewers, we say drink beer, have fun. But drinking and driving is not fun. Please drink responsibly. Cheers.